Hey everyone, I am out here in my coop today. I just brought the chickens their water back out. I gotta grab the other one actually. Um, I took them in yesterday because the weather dropped below freezing. And when I say below freezing, I mean it's 18 degrees right now. And it's not supposed to be getting much over 20 today. So I'm trying this out and see how this is going to work with their water. I put warm water in there, try to keep it from freezing. We're going to see how that works uh, over the next little while. I'll come back out here a little later and check it. But I did discover a new problem. Um, my automatic coop door. So it was raining all day yesterday. So it was wet. I need to get this uh, run covered so that doesn't happen anymore. Um, but it is having issues opening. So I noticed it was closed. And so when I go to open it, this is what's happening. It froze up. The ice. So I've got to figure out how to get the coop door open. I make several tries, much sure how many, didn't count them, and then it stops. All right, so and there was a little bit of ice on the bottom, right along here. I haven't tested to see if that was a problem or not. Uh, kind of, and uh, my fingers to melt off any ice. Actually, looks like it's trying to flurry a little bit out here today. It's been in the 50s and 60s and 70s all through Christmas, and now it's sub zeros to start the new year with. So let's see if this is going to work. Go right up there. Let's see here. As you can see, the system says door blocked. Um, as you can see it said the door was blocked, but um, hmm. not sure the solution to this. Be back with you. All right, so I just wanted to know, uh, to ask a question. What do you guys do with your chickens' food waters and the winter time, especially when it's really freezing, or if you with the really cold climates were in Missouri, it usually stays around freezing or just above freezing most of the winter. Um, dipping down in the at night which wouldn't be a problem. Kind okay, of these days, it's going to be below freezing all day that I see as being more of the problem. Uh, the other times, I can just take it in at night, bring it back out, and it'll be fine. Um, so. I'm going to test to see how this works. I had to just take their food and water into the coop because I couldn't get that coop door open. Um, I got to head to church here in a little bit, so um, they'll probably just find the coop for now. And then when I get back, I'll see if there's any change, if the sun's come out at all to warm anything up, or uh, if I need to try to find what's causing that. Um, problem with that. Otherwise, I haven't had any issues with that, so we're going to experiment with that. I think had it not gotten wet, there wouldn't have been a problem. Uh, so that's going to be a big thing, so I'm going to have to change. I've been wanting to get a roof on the run for a long time. I just haven't gotten to it yet, so that's going to be a goal here in the next um, hopefully short while, but it's super cold now, so it's not going to be fun. So we'll see what happens with that. Yeah, drop your comments below and um, how you take care of these kind of situations, I'll probably, I might just have to leave a, uh, water dish out here, I understand that, so, but I'm going to see if this, this solution will work as well. Alright, so I come back out here to check on the water, and...
still seems to be flowing okay. Um, I need to check the one in the coop. That's the one they're actually using. Uh, since I never got the uh, coop door to really open, but it's, uh, I don't think it's a real big problem. They've been in the coop all day. They'll uh, hopefully be able to get out there tomorrow and we'll take a, see about taking the door apart a little bit and see if I can clean any ice. I think it might have a little bit of ice in there that's got it frozen up that I can't open, but I'm going to do that here real quick and then I'm going to check in here and make sure their water is doing okay inside the coop. Let's see, oh, been like low 20s to under 20 all day. All right, well, that water receipt does seem to be doing okay still as well. And I got one egg. I'm, I'm down to uh, eight layers. And I've only been getting about one, a two a day, maybe three on a good day here lately since it's been getting cold so and not as much sunlight. So that's what we're looking at egg-wise. But so far this water, taking it in, bringing warm water out, it's keeping these um, waters functioning. So that's a positive. So um, hopefully... Um, don't have to do that too much this year. Usually it gets above freezing during the day. And I think that with that, um, I won't have to worry about changing it or taking it in and changing it out every day. As long as it's getting above freezing, then that sun will warm the buckets up enough to keep them flowing. I'll just have to kind of monitor that. I'm going to see about if I can get this uh, coop door taken apart real quick. All right, so I was able to get take these two screws out and pulls it so the track is not resting um, on the what you call it the gear so that may allowed me to manually open the door I really should have figured that out earlier I just didn't think about it but I do see there is um, I don't know if you can see it some ice up in here so I'm gonna clean that out and see if that solves the problem. Right. Well, there we go. Um, I am going to go ahead and close this and take in their water there in the coop for the night. Um, they're already roosting in there, so um, no need to leave it open. That way, in case it doesn't close, I don't have to come back out here and check on it again um, in the middle of the night when it's freezing. So, uh, this is where I'm going to end this little video. Um, I'll keep you updated and see if there's any more problems tomorrow with it. But uh, I think we've got it uh, cleared out for now. I have to see about covering that so that the rain and stuff just can't get to it. Um, I don't know how quickly I'll be able to get to that. Need to figure out just how I'm going to do that. But uh, if you have any suggestions, leave below. Obviously, a roof over the coop would be perfect. I just don't have the time and money to really do that just right now. I've got uh, a lot of other things going on. Um, cars breaking down and stuff that my money's being devoted to right now. So, and then I don't have time in the evenings because it's completely dark by the time I get home. No time in the mornings because it's dark when I go to work. So, it'll be next weekend before, today's Sunday, so it'll be next weekend before I get a chance to do any of that stuff. Um, if I can, then I will look into covering the coop with something. Maybe I can get 
some plastic or some tarps to cover the top for now. I just uh, worry about snow accumulation on that. Um, it's the only problem with that. So, uh, again, give me some tips and suggestions down below. Um, and I uh, hope you have a very blessed day.